okay network diagrams you know network is a graphical representation of activities in the project right graphical as well as of course logical representation of activities in the project so how to draw this network diagrams from the given data from the given uh, activities data okay that we need, we need to learn okay so not down on problem a project consisting of a project consisting of Ten events. Ten events uh, have the following have the following predecessor predecessor relationships. event immediate predecessor so event 1 no predecessor for this for event 2 predecessor event is 1 for event 3 predecessor event is 2 for event 4 predecessor event is again 2 for event 5 predecessor event is again 2 for event 6 predecessor events are 3 comma 5 for event 7 predecessor events are 3 comma 4 for 8 it is 3 comma 7 for 9th event 7 is the predecessor event for 10th event 3 6 8 9 so based on this data, we need to draw the network diagram. Draw the network diagram. For the project. So, how to draw, we will see. First, step by step. First, event 1 is there. Event 1 is there. For this event 1, no predecessor required. Okay. That is the starting event. For event 2, 1 is the predecessor. That means, if you see like this, We join like this. For second event, one is the predecessor event. Now we can see uh, two having predecessor for three, four, five events. That means for three, four, five events, the predecessor is only two. That means activities are going like this. For three, four, five. Okay. So I will choose like this. Three, four, five. Anyhow, any way you can choose. I mean, the three, four, five direction can be anything, not a problem. So I have chosen like this. Three, four, five. See, for three, predecessor is two. For four, predecessor is two. For five, predecessor is two. Joshna, clear, Gadama? Yes, sir, clear. Okay. Now, for sixth event, three and five together is the uh, predecessor. For sixth event, right? For sixth event, three and five together is the. Hmm. How to make it that? 
for sixth event three and five that means suppose if you place somewhere here six event six so three as well as five two predecessor the two predecessor events are there for six so it can join like this see for sixth event three and five are the predecessor events similarly for seventh event three and four so suppose if you keep somewhere here seven three and four are the predecessors like this for seven three and four are the predecessor events for eighth event three and seven are the predecessor for eighth that means somewhere if you keep eight here three and seven three as well as seven like this three and seven for ninth it's uh, it's only for ninth event seven is the predecessor for ninth ninth tenth one three six so this is uh, uh, eight right three and seven eight this one eight three six eight nine three six eight and nine for tenth one so suppose if you put somewhere here tenth last event <coughs> predecessors are nine eight Six and three also like this. So this is the network. Clear? Huh? Based on the given data, event and the pred immediate predecessor data is given. Then we can draw the network like this. Shall we clear up? Yes, sir. Okay. Give okay, a doubt, sir. Indulo. Okay, yes. Sir. Okay. Next. Another problem. No doubt, the problem. Dry network. for a simple project of erection of simple project of erection of steel works for a shed or shed the various elements of the various elements of the project are project are as follows activity description prerequisites activity a uh, erection of site workshop site workshop prerequisite nothing is required prerequisite for a similarly b activity 
fencing fencing of site for that also no prerequisite that means both the site workshop construction as well as fencing parallel you can start there is no prerequisite for them so for c activity c activity is bending of reinforcement bend reinforcement so for bending of reinforcement workshop is required obviously it is depending on prerequisite is a a is prerequisite then d digging of foundation dig foundation so after construction of i mean after uh, uh, fencing completed we need to dig the foundation so b is the prerequisite for this for d and e fabricate steel works so fabricate steel works for this actually a uh, site workshop is required so of course a is the prerequisite okay then f install concrete plant for this of course fencing is enough so b is the prerequisite g place reinforcement placing of reinforcement so g prerequisite c and d c comma d that means barbending should be done and digging of foundation should be done then only you can place the reinforcement in the footing that's why c and d are the prerequisites for g for h h is concrete foundation so laying of concrete of course h depends on placing of reinforcement is required of course concrete plant also installation installation of plant as well as placing of reinforcement both are required so obviously uh, f and g so concrete without concrete plant you cannot put concrete without placing of reinforcement also without uh, you cannot put concrete that's why to lay the concrete f and g must be completed that is the interrelation okay the relationship between those uh, these activities then i uh, paint steel work okay i actually depend on uh, e okay e as well as um, okay it's depending on e e means uh, uh, fabricate steel works okay after fabrication you can go for painting okay j what is j okay j is erect steel work erect steel work it is depending on h comma i h is concrete foundation is fulfilled and painting also should be done then only you can erect the steel work j then last one k give finishing touch that is depending on uh, depends on j actually okay after completion of j only you can do this so for this we need to draw a network see a and b are the parallel activities there is no prerequisite for a and b so obviously a and b activities can be started simultaneously like this a and b okay a b then c is depending on a c is depending on a 
D is depending on B. Okay. C is depending on A. Mm. C is depending on A. D is depending on B. Like this. C, D. E also depending on A. E also depending on A. Let us have like this. F is depending on B. Okay. F is depending on B. G is depending on CD. CD both. So how to do this? Actually, suppose if I put somewhere here this one. Uh, suppose this is F, oh, sorry, G, right? G. G is depending on C as well as D. So that means after completion of D only, G has to be started. That means I can go for dummy here now. See, after completion of C and D, then only G can be started. Just like Ardhamendi, Ardhamma, G is depending on C and D. Ardhamendi, sir. Okay. Then H is depending de, depending on H is depending on F and G. F and G. Okay. F and G. Okay. So H you can place here. Mm. First I'll put F. Then to get G dependency. I will have a dummy activity here. Okay. This is uh, H. Then I is depending on E. I is depending on E. Uh, J is depending on H and I. J is depending on uh, or otherwise J is depending on H and I. That means I should have one dummy here like this so h and i j is depending then finally k is depending on j k see most of the times in a single stretch we cannot draw the network so roughly we have drawn like this. See now in second refinement, you can remove some dummies. If, if the dummies are not required, then you can remove. See here D and dummy, it can be, uh, I mean D activity directly you can connect to uh, this one, uh, C, I mean CG junction, okay. See in refinement, you will see how to draw this. See this one, A and B. A and B like this. Then just remove this dummy and place this one here. Like this. See, this is C, this is D. Is it okay? Satisfying? This is C, this is D. We are removed that, we have removed that uh, dummy. Okay. Then, 
you can keep here we can keep here and f and g also can be connected f and g you know f we can place like this f g is coming from uh, c right i mean c and d junction g uh, g can be connected to this like directly like this g we can remove the dummy not required then h and i can be connected that means from e directly you can take i like this from uh, h also you can uh, directly connect like this you can remove the dummy okay h and i then j k now check the given relations so c is depending on a only of course d is depending on b e is depending on a f is depending on b g is depending on g is depending on cd see after completion of cd only g is starting h is depending on fg okay i is depending on e j is depending on h and i k is depending on j clear on serpina any chinos so at a time in a single stretch you may not draw the network okay first preliminary network you can draw then you can refine that okay sometimes dummies may be provided inevitably okay sometimes we need dummies sometimes we can eliminate all dummies See in this case, dummies are not required. Kirti, clear, Gadma? Yes, sir. Okay. Next. One more problem. Uh, draw the network. based on following data okay. activity <clears throat> restriction ye activity restriction is A should be before B. A should be before B. Okay. Does that means uh, A must be done before starting up B? Okay. B activity uh, should be before E. Okay. D activity restriction is. Uh, d activity uh d should be before c a f c a f d activity c activity must be less than g c should be done before g e activity <coughs> restriction is e less than i f activity f must be before h g activity g must be before e h activity is before e 
final activity i there is no restriction for i that means this that must be the last activity so based on this we need to draw a network okay first a activity let us assume this is a activity activity a <clears throat> then after a b must be there that means a must be before a um, sorry a must be before b a must be before b that means like this okay next uh d must be before c a f that means d must be before a okay so can put d somewhere here before a d activity okay uh, then c activity before g see after d after d c a f 3 are there after d c and a f so that means you can have c like this a f c a f see now it is okay d is less than c a f okay now c is less than g C is less than G. Uh, then F is less than H. That means this must be H. F is less than H. G is less than E. H is less than E. G and H less than E. Okay. that means both are less than e means e activity okay uh we will put like this uh g is less than e e activity h also less than e mm. okay do like this put here e activity dummy i am drawing dummies okay <laughs> then e is less than i e is less than i e is less than i Okay. Can now. Hmm. Uh, what What else is there? B is less than E. Yeah. B is less than E. One more thing. B is. Okay. That also um, draw with the dummy. Then we will remove the miss. This is less than e. This is in first trial we have drawn like this. In second trial we can refine this actually. So those dummies you can remove. See here. All those three things can be H, B, G can be meet here. this h b g can meet here so that we can remove those dummies d f 
ए सी एच बी जी ई आई क्लियर है दिस इज द नेटवर्क सो इनिशियली वी कैन लिबरली यूज दिस डमीज फाइनली वेर एवर डमीज कैन बी रिमूव यू कैन रिमूव दोज थिंग्स डाउट्स नहीं आ नरेश क्लियर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ड्रॉ द नेटवर्क of the following data activity duration immediate predecessor immediate successor suppose a activity duration one week duration in weeks okay one week no predecessor successor is b for b activity duration three weeks predecessor is a successor c d for c activity 5 weeks duration c activity predecessor is b immediate successor uh, e uh, for c yeah e is the successor for d activity Six weeks for E activity. Uh, C D are the predecessors. C D are the predecessors. Sir, the activity B. Huh? D activity. Huh? C D activity. Activity D. For activity D, six weeks. Uh, for D activity, predecessor is B. Successor is E and F. E and F. Okay. Okay. E activity, six weeks. C D are the predecessor. C D are the predecessor. Uh, G is the successor. The activity six weeks. D is the predecessor. Mm, successor G. The activity. E activity C D. Okay, predecessor. Okay. Hmm. E activity G activity G six weeks. E F G E F H is the successor. H activity eight weeks. G I. I activity one week, H J, J activity one week, I is the predecessor, no successor. So we need to draw this. See, 
A activity no produces a success series B. That means A B. Okay. Then C is depending on B. C is depending on B. And uh, immediate success is E. Okay, E. D is depending on B. D is depending on B. That means D and B. D uh, <clears throat> successors are E and F. So E and F means you can uh, join like this with dummy and F you can draw freshly. See D immediate successors are E and F means so directly you cannot uh, connect that D there. That's why dummy we are introduced here. Uh, so F this successors are E and F. E is depending on C D, of course, depending already. So successor is G. G. F also G. F successor also G. F predecessor is D. Successor is G. That means uh, directly you can join actually, right? Otherwise, first introduce dummy, then you can remove. Uh, G. So F is successor is G. G is G predecessor is F, of course. Successor is H. H. Then H predecessor is G, successor is I. I. So I'll move this. I. For I, predecessor is H, successor is J. So which term we can be removed? Successor of F can be, I mean, F can be directly connected to G, right? Is it okay? Yes, sir. A, B, C, D, dummy, E, you have directly you can join here like this because G is depending on E and F. Okay. So G, H, I, J. So this is the network. Clear? Yes, okay. Note on some homework problems. Activity identity. A one two one two means event one and two. B activity two four. C activity two three. D activity two seven. E activity three four. F activity. 3, 5, G activity, 4, 6, H activity, 5, 6, I activity, 5, 7, 
J seven eight K six eight L eight nine. Draw the network. Okay. Just another. Okay, next. Event immediate predecessor. Event one, nothing. Two event one. Three event also one. Four event two comma three. Five event. 3 comma 4, 6 event, 3 comma 5, 7 event, 6, 8 event, 4 comma 7. Draw the network. Okay. Sir, previous slide. Based on follow, based on following relationships. Based on following data. A and B can be performed in parallel. A must be performed before C, before C, D, and E. F cannot be started until until D is finished. G follows C and D. F must be finished before H and I can be started. E and H. E and H precede J. That means sir, E and before of E and H, J must be there. Precedence means that one. G and I. Precede K. L depends on J and K being complete. Okay. The project is complete when L and B are completed. Okay, L and K are completed, okay. Project. 
will complete when an LRK are completed. Okay. Sorry, L and B are completed. L and B are completed. So draw the network for this. Okay. 